have been uh, really on top of this story from uh, even before workers took to the picket line with deep contacts in both the union and at the corporate level. So what are we learning about the details yep. of a potential deal with Ford? Well, uh, the AP just reporting uh, this afternoon that there could be a deal with Ford, that they're inching closer. Uh, and after that, I texted a source of mine who is there uh, and that source said, yes, very close could happen even as soon as today. Of course, that's not guaranteed, but definitely there seems to be some news of some real progress here. And what could this deal look like? Well, you know, the union has been agitating for a big pay increases. And so far we know the companies are at about 23% in cumulative raises over the four year deal. And it looks like they may settle out at about 25% according to that AP report. And when you add those cost of living increases that the union's been wanting to, uh, it could take it over 30% over four years. So, you know, an auto job will be about $40 an hour as a, as a top rate at the end of this deal. So if this deal does go through mm -hmm. with Ford, what does this mean for the strike in general? Because we still right. have workers from GM and Stellantis right. on strike. So, so a couple of things here. So mm -hmm. one thing, assuming there is a deal announced, what we don't know yet is whether they will call the workers back in to work right then, or do they wait for them to have a tentative or to ratify, excuse me, the tentative agreement in a vote. It's going to take several weeks for the UAW membership to absorb the details of this deal and vote on it. The second thing is if there is a deal, yes, that absolutely means that the other two are on the way. Traditionally, the way it works in this union is that one of the companies is the target company and whatever deal they make with the union, the other two sort of pattern off of. Now, the UAW has been doing a lot of things differently this time around, mm -hmm. but presumably that pattern approach would still hold. They're not going to give the other two any less of a deal than they demanded out of Ford. That 25%, it would take the average pay for a truck plant worker to about $80,000 a year, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that, that's right. And now average is one thing, it depends on when, you know, we're talking about um, the top rate, which is the, the rate that workers get after a grow-in period. That grow-in period is eight years now. Everybody thinks that that's way too long on the union side. It looks like it's going to be three or four years now. So there's a progression up to that top rate. But yes, most plant workers will be uh, around around that pay. All right, nearly 9,000 people mm -hmm. in Louisville closely watching what comes yeah. of that negotiation. Yep. Chris Otz, as always, thank you for your reporting. We'll look for your latest story right now on WDRB.com.